All right, it's your boy TW Solo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I got this uh, Sony, uh, what is it, uh, Stereo Amplifier 3200 F Solid State Amplifier. Now, when I first got it, uh, when I put the new fuse on the main one, which is the one on the back, uh, the fuse blow immediately, so I knew something was wrong. Um, I don't know too much about electronics. But um, as soon as I put the new fuse in there that was blown, it blew instantly the moment I hit the switch. So um, uh, I went on other YouTubers and I'm um, trying to figure out how this works. Um, and it's just gave me a lot of problems. Now I'm going to try to keep it simple for you guys as you guys watch this because some of y'all might know about this. Um, what I did is, here's the power supply. Uh, I replaced all the caps. They look a little bit smaller, but the fuse didn't blow at all. Uh, they were blowing immediately when I first got them, but right now they don't. So they work good. It passed. Um, as soon as I get to the audio section, uh, something is really going on with this preamplifier board. Um, I try to recapping them, as you can see right here. They look a little bit smaller. I got it from NTEelectronics.com. So um, I replaced them, and I'm going to explain a little bit. Here's the original caps. These are not originals. I just replaced them. Here's the originals on that side. These I just ordered from them, PMP and PN. So these are brand new. Now, these transistors... Uh, these four right here, I got it off, as you can see them right here, they are, as you can see, oh, they upside down, my bad, there you go, it came from this amplifier, so I took the transistor out of there, here's the preamp, nothing wrong with that, it works, the reason why I'm making this video is because I need a little bit of help, um, as I uh, replaced the transistors, I checked them with my voltmeter. They were good. There's no shortage on all four of them. These four driver transistors, they are brand new and they work great. And uh, I replaced a couple caps. Like I said, this side I replaced. And here's the original ones that I'm thinking about replacing them. So other than that, uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I really have one question. After replacing uh, the original power transistor, which I got them in a the bag, they were shorted. These are not shorted because I checked them with a voltmeter. I got my Variac right there. I got it from eBay, so I got that. And um, what the amplifier was doing is, is if I powered it up slowly and I hooked the speakers up, after I checked the DC offset, which is around almost zero mini volt sometimes it'll jump around that's what it does um the left channel but the, both channels sounded shortage even though they were tested good all these were tested good they brand new these came out of a pv cs 800 which is over there so i took a couple of transistors out of that amplifier and they tested good uh the problem that i have with this amplifier is that the moment i powered it up um, the left channel, they, they both sounded shorted, but the left channel sounded worse. I mean, you can hear the distortion as you turn it up like this. And I would, I can only go this far when it's turned up. Now the right channel sounds a little bit better. Like there's no distortion when I turn it up right here, but as I go higher, it distorted immediately. So I knew something wasn't right. It sounded like a, uh, what they call a rectification distortion or it it sound like something was shorted even though i tested all the transistor power trans uh transistor were good all four of them these are brand new i tested them in again and they were all good so um it still sounded distorted too early i don't have a oscilloscope i don't have that but the left channel sounded worse than the right but at the same time, they both sounded terrible. It's like the moment you turn it up, 
it, you can't turn it up anymore. Like the voltage swing from the transistors don't get that high for some reason. Now I'm not an electrician. I don't know nothing about it. I'm just a DJ, but I just figured if you guys know anything about it, um, leave a comment on the, uh, section below. Uh, I really want to get this to work so I can use it. So like I said, it left and the right channel sound distorted, but the right channel sound clean at low volume until you turn it up about right there it sound very distorted immediately that one already sound distorted and as you turn it up it gets worse and worse and worse the power rail doesn't increase so uh i try recapping the power supply as you can see it looks smaller the ratings are the same it just looks smaller so that's the power supply uh you got four down there that's 100 volts 47 microfarads and then you got these two here and the one on the other side uh, as you can see 10 volts 1000 microfarads the caps are good nothing wrong with the caps it puts out about 65 dc volts rail to rail that's no problem that that's all good so the fuse no longer blow not these two in the main one then when you get on this side i try hooking my voltmeter up to the test leads you got one here and here for the left channel on the right is you know same thing test lead i guess what you do is you hook one of your your, your negative lead to the negative speaker post they said hook it on the hot side which i did but i guess i didn't do it right and then you take the other lead and you stick it there and you can measure the dc um no not dc i mean you're supposed to measure the bias I don't have a scope for it, but the only time you will hook your voltmeter to negative positive on the speaker leads is if you're adjusting the balance, which is a DC offset, which that's what it's told. I got a schematic and everything. So as you can see, uh, I replaced this resistor, that resistor. I replaced three other ones at the bottom. I replaced these three. I replaced that on the side. Same thing on the other side. Uh, these uh, emitter resistors are good um, these are brand new all four of them so you got your NPN, PNP, PNP, NPN those are brand new uh, these are original caps not this one I replaced that original 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 replace on the other side is all replaced so I got to do the same thing on the other side so that way you know it will match whatever the reason why I marked that is because the resistor on that, something's not right, but I could be wrong. On the other side, I took a resistor off the other amplifier that's close to the volume and put that in there. So, um, like I said, what it was doing, even though these four resistors are good and these four power, uh, why well, I call it resistor, transistors are good and these four transistors are good. It still sounded very distorted. It's like the moment you turn it up, it sounds distorted immediately. Like it won't let the voltage swing get bigger. So this is the preamp board. And this is the power amplifier section here. The power supplies is on this side. And you got the large, uh, I believe it's 8,000 microfarads, uh, 80 volts. As you can see. It's upside down, but you can see it right there. 8,000 microfarads, and then it's 80 volts. You'll, you'll see it. It's upside down. There you go. You see that? They wired in series. So, but uh, I know I don't explain it very well, but uh, this amp now powers up, but it sounds very distorted, even though all the transistors are good. So, it's got to be something going on on the preamp. So for those of you who experienced this, can give me an idea of what I need to look for. I got the schematic on my laptop, but I'm not very good with electronics. So um, other than that, uh, I really want to get this to work so I can use these speakers right there. So I don't have to use my good speakers over there because it's too loud for the house. So I got these house speakers right there. As you can see, two of them right there. So... With this amplifier and the preamp that's sitting over there that I'm pointing at it right there, you know, I really want to get this amp to work. So if you guys got any idea about the Sony Stereo Amplifier 3200F Solid State, uh, 
or if you have a different amp that you experience the same way, uh, just let me know what I'm missing or what I'm doing wrong. So I can get the distortion to go away so I can get full power. Like I said, these are all brand new transistors. Those are the drivers. These I took off the other amplifier. They not shorted. They tested good. All four of them, as you can see. And I still get distortion. So... For those of you who are familiar with it, uh, or whatever, or you guys can give me an idea, uh, I took out one driver from the right channel, and I don't know what I was doing. I was messing it up. I should touch it, but here's the left side driver. You know, that it was tested good, but I'm going to get some new ones anyway. But other than that, uh, I got the schematic, so if you guys need one, I can send it to you guys, and you guys can tell me what I did wrong or what I should replace. And we'll just go from there. So uh, I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. But other than that, uh, just hit me up. So everything's good. It powers up. The only problem I'm struggling with is distortion. Even though these are brand new. And these are good power transistors. So you guys tell me uh, what's going on. I don't know too much about it. Like I said, I'm a DJ. And I really wanted to get this to work. So uh the only cap I didn't replace is this these two. I did before, but it didn't change the sound. So um I put the original ones back in and they work. And uh these yellow wires coming from the switch. Like I said, I, I'll send the schematic. I don't want to make this video too long. I give you guys this uh schematic and you guys can tell me. What I did wrong, what I should have been replaced, and it would have worked immediately. So, other than that, uh, I got it to work. It just sound distorted too early. And I checked the DC offset and everything. I did exactly what the schematic told me to do. And I did it, and some reason I still couldn't get it. So, I don't know. But, these voltages off of them are, like I said, 64 to 65 DC swing, negative, positive, as you can see. They're wired in series. And then when I get my voltmeter, I will ground it to the screwdriver down there right there, negative pulse. And then the positive, I'm not going to touch it because it might be charged. If you look at the orange and the brown, it'll say negative 64, positive 64. You don't want them. You can, as you can see there but you guys can tell me what's going on I don't know so I really wanted to get this to work so that's what's been going on uh, catch you later so no one time to fix it I'll wait for you guys coming then you guys tell me what I should have done so there you go talk to you later your boy T-Dub